What's going on guys? I'm not sure how well these new earbuds are picking up the AC, but I'm cooling the room down because it was quite warm in here. So it's going to be running for this video, but thank you everybody jumping on the video. I appreciate you guys coming check me out. So I did bring seven fragrances with me. Several of these were because I know Justin hasn't smelled them yet and uh, we talked about it. So there's a few of these that I'm bringing specifically for that reason. These are some of my personal favorites. I'm good. This is what I'm going to be wearing throughout this trip. So it's crazy that it worked out to where it's exactly seven. I'm not staying for seven days, but a few days I'll have some options. So let's talk about these seven. Stay tuned. Starting with one that absolutely had to make the trip, I'm probably going to wear this one the day this video is live. Tomorrow at the recording of this video. Shout out to my man Dave, Callie's Groom Room, for sending this my way. This is Narciso Rodriguez Bleu Noir Parfum. This stuff is magnificent. This is one of the best releases of the year in my opinion. It's one of the better iris releases in a while. I, I love this. You're gonna think fragrances like Jumanji Gentleman and Dior Homme, but it's kind of got its own twist. This is spicier than those. Still has the leathery facets. There's leather and suede here. This is so magnificent. It's a little bit more of a waxy fantasy iris note, more so than anything creamy or earthy toned. But I'll tell you what, as this stuff dries, it's gorgeous. It's a captivating opening. It's not too powdery, but it's definitely powdery. I mean, it's a designer iris fragrance. It's gonna be powdery. But I've smelled much more heavily powdered fragrances as of late, so this kind of falls somewhere in the middle. This, like I said, this is a must try for anybody that's into men's iris fragrances or iris fragrances in general because, I mean, it's a floral dominant fragrance. Ladies, you can absolutely wear this. Just because it says for him does not necessarily mean it's for him. I think everybody that's a fan of iris should try this no matter no matter if you're a guy or gal but this is some good stuff like i said performance is on the very good side without being overwhelming projections not too heavy but present i think it suits the scent profile perfectly like i said i'm probably wearing this one tomorrow this is awesome for him from narciso rodriguez Bleu Noir parfum so speaking of iris this is one that justin has not seen anything about he has, I told him, don't watch my review. I just did a review on this one. Um, and I do like it, though I do admittedly like the Eau de Parfum more, believe it or not. I'm talking about Armani Code Parfum. This is compliments of my luxury scent. They sent this over my way. It's Armani Code Parfum. I still have plenty. I'm going to let Justin be the judge of that because I've done four, four test sprays was all it took for me to say. It's good. It's actually great. But I like the EDP more. Some really good stuff though, I have to say, I do admire it. I can understand where a lot of people have decided this is the ultimate of the DNA, because it smells pretty much like the EDP plus Iris, but I feel like it's in many ways a powdery, like this is more powdery than this is. This is more of a powder bomb because it's so Tonka bean heavy, because that's the signature note of the Armani Code DNA. So combination with a fantasy Iris note, a designer level Iris note, it's very, very powdery, it is. But for people that like that kind of stuff, it's one of the best ones I've ever smelled. But I don't know, it's just something about it. I like the scent profile character a bit more with the EDP. But like I said, I gave it an eight out of 10. It's a great rating, it's a great fragrance. I'm not knocking it. I just slightly prefer Still Profumo over this and the Eau de Parfum, believe it or not. But I did bring it. I'm probably gonna wear it while I'm here. Like I, I know it sounds like I'm knocking it. I'm really not, it's an amazing fragrance. It's just not my favorite in the line like it is for a lot of people. But Definitely going to be letting Justin check this one out, and I'm sure I'll wear it at some point. This is a decan I got from My Luxury Scent. This is Armani Code Parfum. Next, this is one I brought because I just want to start wearing it and do some testing and get a video out to you guys. I've only done a couple of test sprays so far. I want to do some full wearings. This is the Pure Parfum Perfume version of Club de Nuit Intense Man, the newest flanker that came out, I think, the beginning of this year, maybe end of last year. It's kind of like an earthy lemon smell. It's definitely the one that veers the furthest from the Eau de Toilette. Um, I haven't checked the notes. I don't know if it's a huge difference in the note breakdown. It's good stuff though. I'm still up in the air. I still prefer the limited edition Parfum because I've spent so much time with it. It's one of my favorite fragrances I picked up this year. But this one does smell really, really good. If you're looking for loud, this ain't loud. This is not a loud fragrance. But it's so much smooth. It's the smoothest of the group, but it's also the most earthy green, kind of almost dirty take on the scent profile because it's still smoky. You still got a lot of the lemon, but it's 
more of a thick candied lemon than any of the other ones I've smelled. The only one I haven't smelled at this point is the pure oil with the dabber and the original EDP. Because I know the limited edition parfum is pretty much just another take on the EDP. But this is really good stuff, I have to say. Full review coming. i got to spend some more time with it. But I brought it so I can wear it, so I can rock it, so I can test it, basically. It's 150 ml. I don't think I'll ever run out of this. But I'm a fan of this fragrance. I know it's polarizing. Some people hate it, think it smells super cheap and terrible. I get it. It does smell cheap. But as you go up in all concentration, it does get better and better. And this is proof of that. This is Club Dinouille Intense Man. From our moth, this is the Pure Parfum Perfume Edition. Next, this is in the, the next three actually are ones that I brought specifically for Justin, but the three of my personal favorites that I am definitely going to wear. He has not tried Intense Citrap Wise from Mansara yet. And I feel like anybody that has any form of appreciation for the original should at least try this and experience it because is it redundant to have the original? Yeah, it is. But this is richer, warmer, spicier, more animalic, more leather forward. There's a little bit of Cambodian oud here. And it's a ridiculous 40% oil concentration. Performance is outrageous on this one. The sillage and the longevity are ridiculous. Projection's not super heavy and super far out pushing, but it's a thick cloud around you. I go anosmic to this one pretty quickly because it's so strong, but it is an awesome fragrance nonetheless. One that I, I, I'm definitely going to wear while I'm here, but I definitely brought. So Justin can check it out and see if it's something that he may need to add to his collection. I don't know, but if you haven't tried it yet, guys, definitely get a sample and try this one. Even if you have the original, I'm not saying you need to get that. If, get this if you have the original, but it's at least worth the experience. It's good stuff. Intense Cidre Boise from Mancera. Next is a brand new release from Aiton Bob from their Les X Straits collection. The X Straits, obviously. Uh, Les X Straits. So I just started testing this. I actually have it on my hand. Um, I was saving it for this trip because it's a special trip. I mean, we're packing orders for Zed Creators too. And uh, I'll, you like to tie scent, certain scents to certain memories. And I'm kind of blown away by this. This is called Agneta. And Agneta is, and it's a simple note breakdown. It's a very high oil concentration. I don't know the percentage but it is an extra, it's a 50 ml, it's a $280 50 ml, this stuff's expensive. This fragrance, it was sent to me by Twisted Lily, obviously, um, for review, and I, I got their two newest ones. This one I've smelled so far, and this one's blowing me away. It's Oud Coffee Amber Woods and Cardamom. Used from the highest quality raw materials, like the, I read the explanation, it's actually in the, the box top for this let me grab it to show you guys like I'm, I'm floored by this this is the box there's an outer sleeve that comes with it but there's an explanation of everything right in here reflects the most pristine and precious form of perfumery an ode to the purest purest and most exclusive raw materials created to elevate the perfume to a level of the warmest sensations a unique identity that reflects the desire for the sublime I gotta tell you I'm, I'm floored by this fragrance I'm floored by this fragrance. You get this spicy cardamom feel. The oud, the oud doesn't really have a funkiness to it. It smells like a more precious oud. Like it's definitely not some cheap ass oud oil that's used in here. You can tell. It smells very expensive. It is very expensive. And it smells that way. I get a lot of woods. Warm, rich, spicy, amber feel. The coffee's not overdone. I wouldn't even call this a coffee fragrance, but you can smell it. There's a little bit of this roasted coffee bean smell just kind of hovering in the backdrop. Like I said, it's not an, an explicitly long note breakdown, but you pretty much get kind of everything that's in the notes. Like it's cedarwood and sandalwood, and I don't necessarily get much of either one other than a woody base smell with amber, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber is the base, oud and coffee is the heart, cardamom, and I forgot what else is the top, it's not much, it might be like a citrus or something like that, but you smell pretty much all of that. Like I said, I'm kind of floored by this one, it's so good. Thick, robust, rich, dark, almost gourmandish in some ways because of the cardamom and the coffee, but it's not too much of either. Very good blend here to where it all melds together almost in complete unison. Nice harmony together, but you're still able to pick out the different facets of the fragrance. It's, like I said, gorgeous. I'm so glad I brought this one. I, I sprayed both of them before I left and brought what I thought was the better of the two. 
This is magnificent. Eight and Bob Agnetta. Now, another one that I brought specifically for Justin, and I haven't worn it in a while. A lot of you know, just as I am, he's a fan of Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. So I brought Fougere's Marine from Montal. He's never smelled it before. Now, it's not one-to-one -one with Tommy. It's not a direct, like, this is niche Tommy. It's as close as it's going to get to niche Tommy. Uh, this one has a nice fresh water feel to it. A lot of oak moss that gives this spicy green tone, this fresh spicy green feel that you will relate to this clean musk and everything. You'll relate it to Tommy. As it dries, it starts to separate itself, but the opening and heart of this fragrance, the early stage of this fragrance, smells pretty close to Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. So it's one that I urge everybody. Someone paid 50 something dollars for this tester. That's why this is going through Instead of going through the neck, it's going through the actual head of the atomizer. Came in a white tester box. I paid 50 something dollars, I want to say from Fragrance Net earlier this year. Did a full review on it. Performance is fantastic for as fresh as this is. It's basically aromatic, clean, watery, and musky, and a lot of oak moss. But it's more on the fresher side. It's not a smoky, dirty oak moss. It's very clean, probably because of all the other clean elements with it beautiful fragrance. I can't wait to see what he's going to think about this one. I'm definitely going to wear this while I'm here. Probably the warmest day forecast that I'll, I'll pull this one out. Fougere's Marine from Montal. Last but not least, a Raja Parfums fragrance that I was surprised he has never tried. This is one of my personal favorites. This is one of the best fresher fragrances to wear in the cold, to be honest with you. It is Harrods Parfum Pour Homme from Raja Parfums. I made sure to bring this. You can see that juice level drop, and I love this fragrance. It is magnificent. It's classified as a citrus. A lot of dense, thick, sweet citruses. This is very high. This is well above 25%. I'm not sure exactly where, but you can tell just by smelling the atomizer. This is a heavy oil concentration. It wears heavy too. It's not a super long, loud projector. It's super long lasting and it's got a real dense sillage. Good stuff. <sighs> so good. One of the most versatile, expensive fragrances I've ever put my nose on. This is expensive, but it's super versatile and smells of luxury. I mean, when, when it's a high dollar amount, when it's a high price point, you want it to smell like it's a high price point. This does, this absolutely does. Harrods exclusive from Roger Parfums. There's a, there's a poor femme version as well. Never tried that one. I'm very curious on how he feels about this one. Cause as a lot of you know, Roger Parfums fragrance is very complex. They usually have a ton of notes. It's not the easiest to pick out specific notes cause there's so much going on. It's a lot of complexity. It's more about peeling back the layers to getting different accords because a lot of different accords are able to be created with the way these blends and note breakdowns are done by Roger Dove. Always some good work, really and truly. I'm, I'm going to wear this one while I'm here too. I might as well. I mean, I brought it. It's awesome. Just soon wear it. It's not just for Justin to smell. It's for me to enjoy too. Roger Parfums, Harrods, Parfum Pour Homme. Well, that's the seven that I brought with me on this trip. Thank you to everybody that pre-ordered any of the Zed Creators 2.0 collection. Uh, we'll be getting them out by the end of this weekend at the recording of this video. George is kind of forecasting for like maybe Monday to have everything gone, uh, which I think is a worst case scenario, but uh, definitely by next week, everybody should have their bottles, especially domestically. You'll definitely have all of your bottles that are here in the States. Uh, so thank you again to everybody that ordered. Check the video description if you've yet to get your pre-order in. Uh, every order does come with samples of whatever fragrances were not ordered. Let's say you order Evening Mystique, you will get a sample of Second Soul and of the Immortals. So you can sample the entire collection. Uh, but again, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video. Catch you guys on the next one. Oh, stay tuned. Live streams coming randomly throughout the week. Make sure you got notifications on. Have a good one. Thank you.